I'm Hazel, and this is a guide to the Amalgamation Chamber fight in Aberus, the Shadowed Crucible, on Normal and Heroic difficulty. We start the fight with two elementals. When either one reaches 50% HP, they combine for the final phase. Each boss stacks a damaging debuff on their nearby players. You can split the raid and then swap the groups when the debuffs start to hurt. You want to damage the bosses down evenly so you don't have a ton of health to deal with in the final phase. On normal, with enough DPS, you may be able to get away with stacking the two elementals. You would need to phase the boss before the stacking debuffs get unhealable. On heroic, you'll definitely split them. Let's start with our purple boy here. Shadow boss does shadow spike on its tank. That's just damage, no debuff. Use some mitigation. A few players get marked with umbral detonation and then drop big puddles. Run those out. Coalescing Void makes a big purple thing that explodes for drop-off damage. Move away from this. Over on the fire side, Toasty Boss wallops its tank with Flame Slash. Again, no debuff, just to do something tanky. Fiery Meteor splits damage among players in the ring. Get in to help soak. And Swirling Flame aims a set of Molten Tornadoes at a random player. Watch where they're pointing and avoid those. When one boss hits half health, they transition into the final form while throwing big swirls to dodge. They'll combine HP, so having them both as close to 50 as you can before pushing is nice. In Phase 2, tanks have a two-move combo to deal with. Withering Vulnerability hits hard and applies a debuff. It's followed up with Shadow Flame Burst, which is a frontal cone that will cook you if you're the tank that just took the debuff. It also hurts if you're not a tank. Swap tanks right after Withering Vulnerability goes out, and aim the cone away from people. Blistering Twilight marks players to drop puddles, and those puddles fire off Molten Tornadoes across the room. Run the puddles out and dodge the danger. Gloom Conflagration does a big group soak in front of the boss, and then explodes that area for drop-off damage 5 seconds later. Get in to help soak the meteor, and then run out before the explosion. While you're fighting the combined boss, it's stacking up a debuff on the entire raid that does damage and reduces maximum health. No pressure, but you can't take that kind of roasting forever. On normal, that's it. On heroic, the two bosses must be tanked at least 25 yards apart or else they do a ton more damage. The heroic purple boss gets Shadow's Convergence, a set of orbs that collapse in on the boss. Thread your way between these. The heroic orange boss gets Molten Eruption, a sprinkling of single-person soaks that need one player in each. In heroic phase 2, the boss gets Convergent Eruption. A set of soaks go out that need one player each, and then orbs spawn to collapse in on those soak points. Make sure you don't miss any soaks and then avoid the orbs. There's a lot of doing the hokey pokey on this fight, you're definitely gonna get your steps in. And that's the Amalgamation Chamber. Thanks for watching, I've got more raid guides if you want them, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.